Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Hi. My question's for Ryan, and I wanted to know how long it took to film the movie. Oh, um, well, it actually only took about six months to shoot it. It felt like a hundred years. <laughs> Um, you know, because of the, yeah, all the, 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 the special effects and all this sort of things go really slowly. But it was only about six months, you know, and, the, and then it's the post where this movie begins. You know, when we wrapped production in Louisiana, the movie started for everybody else. So, you know, there's a there's, there's hundred men and women that are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week right now on this movie to get it ready for June 17th. So, yeah. Yeah, cool. Hey, Ryan. Um, hey. Big fan ever since Two Guys and a Girl. Yeah. Thanks. Really? <laughs> yep. Now, if there's, if there's one thing you're known for, it's your sarcastic remarks and your one-liners. Were you given freedom to improvise things on this movie, improvise what um, you say? Yeah, de no, definitely, definitely. You know, but you don't, the character's not funny. He's sort of got a wit. You know, it's kind of a dry wit. So you really want to safeguard the character, first and foremost. It's easy, and you know, sometimes it's too easy to just say, oh, let's throw in this, you know cocksure line here but you want to you want to actually make sure that you're still playing Hal Jordan so you know we were we were very careful to make sure that there's wit but not you know he's not a comedian he's not a funny guy necessarily but he's a you know he could throw 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 a line around pretty well yeah yeah, yeah I, th I thought the lines that you had here and there were just fantastic I mean they just yeah. really brought the character yeah you want to have moments of levity definitely you know and I, I looked at you know this guy and I've said this before as a Chuck Yeager Han Solo hybrid and and uh you know, when it, one of the things I loved about Han Solo when I was growing up was the fact that he could, you know, he could, he could throw a, just like a dry one-liner out that would just so bring you back into the movie. And, and I, think, I think those are important. So, yes, sir. Hello. Hi. Um, this question is actually for Blake. Um, if, this movie be, if this becomes a franchise or whatever and you get to be Star Sapphire, will you enjoy doing all the stunts and, star, uh, and stunt work that Ryan had to go through and fighting him and whatever? My goodness, I, I would be so thrilled. The only thing that was a little daunting was the outfit. <laughs> um, maybe they could put a little more material on. <laughs> that would make me happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, the, 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 the stunt training that he got to do was, was, was so exciting. And, and you know, we, we had the, the best people there. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm such a fan of the Jason Bourne movies. I, if I could trade places with anyone it would be Jason Bourne um, you know so we had people there that you know worked on the stunts and that and you know it was um, I, I would love to do that I would love to fly and beat him up <laughs> back to the outfit <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a good fight yeah I think so I think so movies called Green Lantern I have a feeling I'll win <laughs> Just a thought. never know never know Hold out hope. Uh, this is for uh, Ryan Reynolds. Um, I just wanted to quickly say I really liked you in Amity Hutville Horror and in Ordinary Magic. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> dude, dude, lay off Netflix. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> My mother doesn't know about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why were you gone for three months? <laughs> I'm 13, you should know. <laughs> Shot a movie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, well, my question was, is, um, do you have any idea in the future if you could do if another any superhero or villain who would you want to do after Deadpool? Well, I almost went. You know, I really, I guys, I was going to come in here and tell you I'm playing the Flash because it's April Fool's Day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that just would have. Oh my God, that was a little dangerous. So I decided to. <laughs> I was also told that afternoon it's no longer April Fool's Day. So I don't know if that's some sort of Irish Canadian thing, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So I no, I think I'm uh, I think I've reached my my quota. I think I think I will be systematically murdered if I played anymore. I think I've done I've done my fair share. I mean, this is uh just to be able to to be here and, and sitting before you talking about this incredible movie is that's a pretty big gift for me right now. So, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. How's it going? My question is for Ryan. I yes, just sir. want to know, are you happy with your CGI costume or were you really looking forward to like a 
stick thin, super tight spandex costume. Oh my God. <laughs> he wears those. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You mean my jammies? Well, you know, me and my girlfriend just got engaged. She wants to see you in that super yeah. tight jammies, you know. I argued for just straight up fishnet, and uh, <laughs> nobody listens to me. Uh, no, I, I, the mythology in the film is such that this, the suit is made of energy. And it's something that Tom Array even it, it explains to Hal in the, uh, in, in, in the film. And, and uh, so that, that you can't put on a suit of pure energy practically without third degree burns. So I, uh, I, you know, I was in a motion capture suit and that was, that was fine. That was fine by me. But uh, you don't want to be in a motion capture suit, by the way, at, in August in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, lot like a coffin with a zipper. Yeah, yeah. All right, take care. Oh, do we have a man down? Next. Oh, there we go. We're, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. No um, kidding. I know, surprise. Yeah. Would you be interested in doing a Justice go League movie? Well, there we go. Uh, it's like an echo, one's man and one's woman. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not something that anyone's talked to me about or approached me about, so I'm not sure if they're going to even... I hear they're thinking about it. I don't know, right? I don't know. Ask Jeff can't, Johns. I don't, I'm not in charge of anything. I mean, we, I, we, we can't really talk about much about Just League except it's in development. That's all. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Screen Team Media.